Hello, welcome to WTF Previews. I'm Becca Meyer. And I'm still balding Ewok. And I I'm... can't fix it. <laughs> and I'm still stuck in purgatory. Yeah. We're doing the most anticipated films of 2018. The movies yeah. we're looking forward to. The top ten movies we're most looking forward to. So let's get started. Begin. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Previews. Coming in at number 10 is the sequel to the reboot of the sequels of Jurassic Park, which is Jurassic World 2. Um, I feel like this movie looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. As far I, as sequels I'd, go, this looks like it will be better yeah. than the other Jurassic Park sequels. So Jurassic World was an, was an adequate reboot. I didn't love it. That Nothing in my mind can top. The Jurassic original. Jurassic Park. Nothing has ever been as good as that original Jurassic Park. We there were there was the wow factor of the digital CGI dinosaurs and honestly, tip top yeah. storytelling and, and filmmaking they, by, by Steven yeah. Spielberg. It's still, um, dude. They invented motion tracking. They yeah they did know? things that had never been done before and they mastered it at the same time. Um, really good. Anyway, Jurassic World was was a fun movie it was fun um the trailer for some reason to the second one looks like it might be a little bit darker a little bit more ominous or whatever as a volcano and, I, and i'm looking for i'm looking actually looking forward to it because uh, of where we started with jurassic world yeah and i mean we got excellent actors oh jeff goldblum is back and jeff goldblum is back and how can you go wrong with jeff goldblum you can't that guy is so hilarious <laughs> all right number nine you don't sound happy about number nine. I'm I'm anticipating this movie because I want this movie to be really good, but I'm not sure it's going to be because I read the book and loved the book. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Ready Player One. Yes. Now this book, I am not a video game nerd. I'm not a comic book nerd. I like those things, but you know, you know me. So a video game, comic book, '80s nerd, like someone my age. If you haven't read that book, that book is written specifically for you. It it taps into everything. There's Back to the Future. There's Indiana Jones. There's all of that stuff is in there, and it's a basically a um, uh, an odyssey. Yeah. It's basically an odyssey. The book is great. The movie looks like it got turned into a CGI extravaganza action adventure movie, which the book is not. So. You don't know. The, the book is more like the video game, the RPG video game, and the m movie looks like it's more like the movie that gets made out of an RPG yeah. video game, and I'm, and I'm worried. However, I still anticipate it. Directed by Steven Spielberg. It's got some, got some good stuff in it. Most um, of his movies do well. They're pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Uh, number eight is something you put on there. Uh, I don't know anything is it about my it. Fault? It's Venom. Venom. I don't know Venom. any. I don't know anything about. You just Venom. know what I've told you about. So why'd you let it on the list? Well, because I know I saw how excited you were. Oh yeah. So tell me about it. Okay, so Spider-Man Three mm -hmm. was terrible, and it had Venom in it. <laughs> Venom was terrible. <laughs> uh, ever since Spider-Man became a movie. I created in my head a Venom movie. Yeah. Because um, I've seen all the cartoons and everything. Every mm -hmm. Spider-Man an animated series. Venom is the coolest character. One of the main reasons Venom is the coolest character is because from the symbiote that creates Venom is a symbiote that is created called Carnage. And then Venom Carnage is so bad that the bad guy Venom teams up with Spider-Man to fight Carnage. It's awesome! And that's what this movie is. Like, Venom versus Carnage. I don't know if Spider-Man's gonna be in it, but I don't care. Because it's Venom versus Carnage! Do you know anything about the movie? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven on the list is Avengers Infinity War, which we've already done a preview show on. Yes. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It hopefully will be good. I still am worried about the 30-something-plus characters. 
that they are cramming into this movie so it can be the biggest, baddest thing ever done. And the thing is, at one point, are you going to rely on storytelling instead of bombastic uh, extravaganzas? Not in this movie. Not in this one. No. It's just going to be cut to bite. But we do know that a lot of the actors contracts run out after Avengers Infinity War so they might be using this as sort of a reboot um, of the of the MCU. Yeah. Interesting thing is the Infinity Stones they can warp reality. Yeah. So maybe they could reboot everything. <laughs> Kill everyone off and then well, let's reboot reality with the reality show. Okay, anyway. So anyway, Avengers Infinity War, go see it. Number 6, Annihilation. Yeah, I don't know much about this movie. The only thing I know about this movie really is it's got Natalie Portman in it, a couple other people, but also it's written and directed by the same person that did Ex Machina Mm -hmm. a couple years ago, which which I loved, which I really, I don't know about. Did you like that? Yeah, I had problems with the ending and some stuff, but uh, because I like, I'm a science person and I'm meticulous about, okay, if this was going on, you couldn't do this, but anyway. But it was it a was great very story. Good. Very yes. good. Okay. So, yeah, Annihilation. Not sure much about it. The trailer doesn't give a whole lot away. I can tell you about it. There's a big wall of goop. And it makes sounds like... Yeah, the, and I like, think... what is that? Judging by the trailer, it looks like they... <laughs> Does that make sense? You want to go see it now? Judging by the trailer, it looks like they walk into the uh, Northern Lights. Yeah. I'd, I'd walk in there. <laughs> I'd walk in there. And okay. it, but then it messes with things and whatever. And there's deer with like flowers on their antlers, so it's a magical place. Anyway, I'm going basically on the Natalie Portman thing and the director of the film. So hopefully, hopefully, still a snob. Yeah. So I'm hoping that it's as good as I want yeah. it to be. Like I'm not being a snob. I'm. It's a. It's a you genre. You can't just film. see it and say. That looks so cool. I'm going to go see it. What now. I mean is the trailer doesn't tell us much. It? Do, do. What I'm saying. <laughs> can you go back to being a miserable <laughs> f- <laughs> and just let me finish my sentence? No, I'm saying I, the trailer doesn't give much away. So I'm going on that Natalie Portman and, you know, the director. So maybe it'll be good. I don't know. I think it'll you be can't good. Tell. Next on the list at number five is Black Panther, which we've talked about a little bit before yes. in previous episodes. I'm so excited. Yeah. I want to look into a little bit about the fighting styles and everything. We'll talk about it when oh, we do a Black yeah. Panther I have episode. To research that because yeah. I'm a martial artist. He's guy. the kung fu guy. But you, even though you're a film snob, you want to see this because of how well the Civil War movies were done. Yes. Or, well, not just Civil War movies. What I mean is the Captain America movies. Yeah. Um, they just got better and better and better. And mm-hmm. Black Panther was one of the highlights, if not yeah. one of the best parts of the movie Mm -hmm. um so i mean and that was just a small part of the film Mm -hmm. and if you're uh we're talking about multiplying that times the whole movie yeah we're both excited so i'm excited because i'm a superhero nerd fan guy yeah martial arts choreography as well yeah but yun wu ping yeah, oh, I don't think Yumu Ping is doing black panther (laughs) but yes i'm a big fan of you so how i see it is Spider-Man and Black Panther were my favorite parts of the Civil War movie. Spider-Man came out and was great. Yeah. So in my mind, I'm like, well, Black Panther's going to be great, too, because they are clearly work on it. Anyway, I'm just really excited about it. I think he's a badass. I agree. Yeah. The revolution will not be televised. Number four on the list is the Cloverfield sequel, which we don't know anything yeah. about. Is there going to be a um, big monster in it, or, or is everyone going to be trapped in a room? Is it going to be done in first person? We don't know. There's no trailer. There's not even proof, really, that there's going to be a movie, but it's number four on my list because the first one was great. The second one was incredible. Really good. And I am really loving what they're doing with this, and maybe it's yeah. maybe maybe these little chapters are going to be, um, I don't know, something that's going to blow our mind. I don't know. What I like about it is that they sort of have con- both previous Cloverfield movies have subverted the alien attack genre. Yes. And have made it about people surviving through the situation, and it's been interesting. The great characters, John Goodman was so good in the um, in the in the in the last one. Anyway, so yes, I can't wait to see that. Number three is Wreck It Ralph. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> uh, dude, the first Wreck It Ralph was a really good movie, and that had some of the uh, you know. 
taking us back to our 80s, you know, yeah, it's as nostalgic. older people with gray hair in our beards. <laughs> we really like yeah. 80s stuff. Yeah, it's nostalgic part for our childhood. Again, I'm not a huge comic uh, And you didn't video really play game person, video games. But I, I get all the references and I loved it. And really what I loved the most is how empathic... Um, how touching John C. Riley's performance was as Wreck It Ralph. John C. Riley's just awesome. He's and so good. He, he can be funny and gross funny, but he yeah. can also be, he's so sincere. The sincerity in his voice, he so captured that like big, yeah. goofy, like sensitive villain thing. It was so good. Um, I just want more of that. Yeah, and I, Sarah honestly, Silverman did a great job as well. Sarah Silverman too. It I'm was, looking forward to that. It was funny, and it was like about like don't listen to the don't listen to the critics and don't talk yourself out of it. Um, you can do it stuff. And my my daughter loved the movie, and I loved Wreck It Ralph too. I probably watched Wreck It Ralph more than more than she has, hmm. and I'm and I'm an adult. You got a problem, Deadpool. Yes, uh, Deadpool, Deadpool too. Deadpool, Deadpool too. It's got Cable. Cable's going to be in it. You I've don't had, know who that is. I've had Cable since the 80s. <laughs> You're so funny! Cable is a character from the X-Men comics that we don't really get to see. But uh-huh. he was very influential on the time-traveling yeah. storylines. Okay. Deadpool 2 is awesome. It's got Cable in it. I'm saying Cable yeah. is in the X-Men comics. Right. Cable okay. is awesome. I'm excited. So I'm looking forward to it because I what I liked about it what I liked about Deadpool was they finally stopped trying so hard to please everybody with the Marvel films and they allowed it allowed it to get a little dirty yeah. you know and, and they like, made fun of themselves <clears throat> they made fun of themselves they didn't take themselves too seriously yeah. it's like it, uh, the parts <clears throat> where he's like we know this is ridiculous, and yeah. I'm pointing it out. <laughs> yeah, it was it was funny, and it was not the same thing again. So about the time I started feeling tired of superhero movies in general, um, Deadpool came out, and I started thinking, well, if they're gonna if they're bold enough to do some of this stuff, I might I might stay tuned. You know what I mean? Because uh, it was fun. It was just something different. I don't mind superheroes. What I mind is going to every single superhero movie and it feels like I'm watching the same thing over and over again because they, they put certain limitations on themselves so that it can please everybody. And there's only so many things you can do and please everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Number one on our list of movies that we cannot wait to see in 2018 is The Incredibles 2. Yeah! I, when I saw The Incredibles, when it first came out, I was a huge fan of Toy Story and um, other 3D movies. Well, no, 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 Monsters. It was, it was Toy Inc? Story. That that the uh, Monsters Inc. Toy Story and Monsters Inc. And those movies were so good. But then when they came out with The Incredibles, and I think at the time it was their first PG movie. It was their first movie that wasn't ra- uh, yeah. actually rated G. When The Incredibles came out, uh, I went and saw it, and it was the most fun, the most cool. The score was amazing. The animation, yes. the characters. Again, it's a superhero story, but it's another subversion of that. Where it's not, it's a, it's an invention of a new, of a new batch of superheroes. But it's also tapping into sort of what we know, like the the tropes of yes. superheroes. But it, it was more about uh, the family dynamic and the what if you know these, this family was together and this kid had this and that and they had all they all had to deal with each other, not only emotionally but with how um, if they re- how they react could actually mm-hmm. be expressed in their powers and abilities, yeah. um, and how does that affect their family life? You know, the dad and the mom and the mm-hmm. kids. You know. And what what what? How would you react if you were a superhero and then had to go into hiding and then you couldn't do the one thing you were good at anymore? Yeah. I've done that before and I was miserable for about eight years. Everyone can relate to it, yeah. even if you don't have powers. Yeah. So if your superpower is you're an incredible accountant and then suddenly you can't be yeah. an accountant anymore and you have to go like do something else, that will drive you crazy. Yep. I mm. am so glad that they made a sequel out of yes. this. Uh, I'm so far... Samuel Jackson, Frozone. <laughs> Where is my super suit? <laughs> oh man, come on. Uh, so I... 
I feel like they've done a very good job with their sequels. Pixar has done a great job with their sequels. Um, Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, and then I was like, yeah, give me, make me a little nervous with Toy Story 3, but Toy Story 3 was just as good as any of the other two. So I feel like they're going to nail... If it would be it would be weird if they dropped the ball on Incredibles too. Yes, you know, uh, but we'll see. But it is my most anticipated. Believe it or not, when I when I was putting this list together, when we were putting this list together, and realized the Incredibles two what the, right. was on the top of the list, it was like Incredibles two what, was on top of yeah, my list. What's but incredible it is. is how many movies I never thought that you would allow on a list like this <laughs> are on these lists. Yeah, um, they're actually making good. Um, science fiction, superhero, yeah. fantasy movies now. Um, thanks. I mean, I'm so happy. Special effects. Thank you, special effects gods. <laughs> because we can enjoy all kinds of creativity. And, um, just, you know, it can be good. It doesn't yeah. have to be just, oh, here's some special yeah. effects. It could be really good character-driven stories. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. I can't wait. Um, of course, there are, there, are, there are dozens of movies coming out next year. And this is just our first look top 10 things that we are right now that we know about that that are coming out that we are looking forward to of course there could be any num millions of variations on this list yeah, change your mind um, later probably. if you know of a movie that's coming out that we should have on our list let, let us know drop us a comment in the comment section uh let us know what you think uh click like on our episodes subscribe to our show share click like share get it out there tweet facebook all that stuff mm -hmm. we appreciate it um and we'll see you next time later peeps the end i'm becca meyer <laughs> i'm balding ewok still and i'm stuck in purgatory this time we're watching <laughs> why'd you laugh you forgot what we were watching? That's, what are we watching? Yeah, yeah. We're not watching. Yeah. Begin! <laughs> that was not the intro I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take!